So, Rocket, uh, McKenzie and Broughton return for the Sydney game. Greg, for his final game after announcing his retirement, and Trent, his season looked over a month ago, but he comes back. Tell us about those changes. Yes, um, obviously Harley Bennell out with a calf, uh, and Clay Cameron with concussion, so another couple of injuries. Uh, but Greg um, uh, informed me a few weeks ago that, uh, that he would retire, so I said that uh, I'd do my best to ensure that he got a game to um, actually finish the season, so um, so that fitted in well. Um, and Trent, yeah, a bit of a surprise. We didn't expect him to, to get up, but it's a good place for Harley, and um, so, so it gives another quality player back in. Another massive midfield challenge, as it has been for the, for the second half of the season. Is it just another real test rather than anything now that, you know, the start of the season and just for a young on board brigade? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt. You know, it's going to be difficult to really compete with, you know, when we played them last time, compete with Sydney, that they've got a very good midfield. When you've got the four best midfielders out, it's equivalent of Sydney having out Kennedy, uh, Parker, Hanabry, and Jack. Um, so you take them out of their side of puts uh, and we had our four in it, <laughs> it did, you know, swing the scales the other way. So, um, but, uh, but some players that have played in there have got some real uh, opportunity. They've taken it, Jesse Lonigan, uh, Aaron Hall, to, to name a couple. So uh, we've been really pleased with the growth uh, of the players involved. And uh, yeah, it's another test, but it's another big learning curve for them. You mentioned Lonigan, he, he did big roles on, on Bogue in the first half and Hart in the second half last week. Can we expect to see him continue that sort of tagging role? Um, yeah, he's responded really well to have an accountability role. Sometimes it's full on tag, other times it's just a, just a reference point to be able to go back to that player. So he's had some really big jobs and um, um, exceeded all expectations. He's he's grown each week um, incrementally. He's getting a little bit better. So, and I think I think along with that, he's getting more confidence. The resolve of the group's really stood out in the second half of the year. Is that something that's really impressed you, given the personnel that's been missing? Uh, for sure, I think their their spirit and as you said, their resolve, their resilience has has, has been terrific. I know I was probably uh, a bit shocked by their lack of resilience early in the year in, in certain areas, uh, but really the second half of the season has been been fantastic from my point of view. Every game since the bye we've been in the in the game, at least to three quarter time. That's against uh, uh, against top eight sides and top four sides, and we drew with West Coast and beat North Melbourne and. And other teams, even Adelaide, are playing exceptional footy at the moment. We're a goal down at three-quarter time with Gary, who'd been injured. So their ability to and willingness to stay in the contest, um, uh, to stay in the game for as long as they, they can, has been, it's been great. And their spirit of training has been fantastic. Took Miller's got to the final hurdle. It's been a theme throughout the year, whether he'd get through with his body. But he's had a really amazing debut season. How impressed with, you, with him have you been? Yeah, he's been great. You know, he's... Uh, you wouldn't think he'd have second year blues because of his attitude and the way he goes about it. Now, at times he's tapered off because of that load, I think. Uh, he's, he's looked tired. Uh, but him and Cade College are the only two to play every game, which I think is probably the least in the competition of only having two players. So, uh, Tuke's done a fantastic job and um, you know, he deserves a big rest. And then hopefully he can come on, uh, can come back next, uh, next pre season and, and, and take the next step. Do you think Tuke must be uh, in? Contention for the Players Association first year award, given that Cripps and Hogan aren't eligible. Oh, for sure, there's no doubt. Um, you know, the cards fall his way that uh, in that situation, but he's had a terrific year to play all 22 games in your first season, just straight out of the under 18 competition. is an enormous effort, and uh, now he's had a variety of roles and he's responded exceptionally well. He's um, you now his leadership's first class, so we're expecting big things from him going forward. Cade College Aston is another young gun that's really exceeded expectations this year. Have you seen his footy grow from, from round one to now? He seemed a lot more assured and he really wants to have the ball in his hands at times. He does. Oh, I think uh, I was a bit disappointed over the pre-season and the summer and practice matches and then early in the season. And probably my fault because I played him on a wing. I thought he's, he looks like a, a perfect winger. Uh, but once we moved him back into the fence, uh, he's just blossomed. And I think the pleasing thing has been his leadership. Um, he's really grown, he's directing. Um, doesn't make uh, many mistakes, uh, but as you said, he wants a ball in his hands and he, you know, no, he wants to start attacks. Back to this week's game, the, the back six have another massive challenge given Sydney's attacking power. Isaac Heaney's added another layer into that forward attack. Yeah, it's difficult again. Now we, now we get challenged every week. There's a different challenge every week, the teams we play. Um, but now I've got every faith that the players will be able to uh, actually rise to that challenge. Now, some of them will get beaten and will have goals kicked against us, but uh, when we played Sydney last time, Keegan Brooksby, Brooksby played down back and he'd never played back in his life and, and only, that was only his second AFL game. So, um, you know, we're throwing, throwing some different challenges at guys and most of them have responded very well. 
Brandon Matera's had a really good six, eight weeks in the back end of this year. How impressed with, have, with his work ethic have you been? Oh, I've been super impressed and full credit to him because uh, he was challenged early in the year. Um, uh, put a finer point up, thought he was, didn't work hard enough. I was going to say he's a bit lazy, but probably right as well. No, he didn't, uh, just didn't work hard enough and probably thought just talent was going to get him through, which there's not very many players that that, that happens to. And uh, But he's responding the right way. There was probably a period of four or five weeks where he was working really hard but wasn't getting the rewards. Um, but the last six, seven weeks or so, he's you know, he's been fantastic. He's continued that work ethic. He's doing extra training, and I think he he you know he realises the value of working hard.